Yeah, Josh. Gotcha. Adventures with the Ham Ninja. We're taking it to the next level, people. <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. The uh, parking lot for uh, Pole Knoll. We're gonna go up to the top and uh, send some cool radio uh, radio waves out. Um, it's a beautiful hike. There's some beautiful old growth ponderosa up here. And I'd say this is, I don't know, in the area, one of my favorite hikes out of maybe three. My, it's in my top three for sure. It'd be my, I know Baldy was really a lot of fun, but this is for beauty and tall growth pines. And I think it's number one there. Big, big trees up here. So anyway, enough yakking. Let's get up the trail here and uh, we'll take a look at some of these. Oh, that's a pretty stand of aspen up there. We're surrounded by aspen pine, ponderosa pine, uh, Douglas fir, oak. Just a really, really nice area. And it's been uh, well taken care of by our awesome for service and volunteers. bushwhack to the top here. We'll traverse and then cut left here. Uh, a lot of strange noises up here with the wind blowing the trees. We're at uh, 9,700 feet. I've been living at 8,300 for uh, two weeks now. Uh, I feel like I have less lung capacity than most people think I'd be in better shape. Uh, can't wait till I go to do, you know, a teen, 13, 14,000, Colorado, California, wherever, that'll be, that'll be quite a treat. I'll probably drop the chair and certainly can slim the pack down, but it's just, uh, yeah, a lot of work. Anyway, uh, with that said, we're almost at the top here, coming up onto the shoulder of the mountain. Uh, peak here. I'm gonna come up from off this shoulder and then go up. So beautiful day. Hopefully I don't uh, pick up any lightning. If so, I'll have to attack tomorrow. I won't drag you through the whole trip though, unless it gets even prettier, which is would be hard to hard to imagine. All right, I got my breath back. Let's get cracking. That was for you, Dale. <laughs> okay, this is the view from my shack uh, today. Um, a lot of dark clouds moving in. Uh, let's see if we can get on the air, get some contacts.
Gotta love it. Yeah, Josh. Gotcha. And thanks, Dale. So the Josh and Dale show, show are up on a uh, peak up in Washington. She's killing it up there. So uh, I got lucky, got up here just in time to grab them. So it's always fun to catch those guys doing a double, double, uh, double person activation. They work really well together. <clears throat> Trying to chase uh, K7 WXW. Uh, there's like three people in here. I can't hear the... And... Wait a minute. Got him back. Yeah, got you, William. Sweet. Tied off another summit to summit. You gotta love it. That's uh, four summit to summits, and we're activated via just nothing but summit to summits at uh, 1327. So, gotta love it. 1327 local. Oh, let's see, what time is it, Zulu? It's 1928, so we're still in the day. Oh, let's see, what anybody else up here? Oh, somebody else just popped up. 14. Oh, he's that's the same guy. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to pick a frequency here. Summit to summit, summit to summit, summit to summit. Come again, summit to summit. Summit to summit, November one, Charlie Lima Charlie. November one, Charlie Lima Charlie. One, Charlie Lima Charlie, QSL. Yeah. QSL, QSL, I got you at about a five, 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 over. Copy the five, five, I've got you at about a 42, 42 into whiskey seven, whiskey. Whiskey Echo 035 QSL. QSL, QSL. I have you on Whiskey 7 Alpha. Stroke Alpha Papa 003. Whiskey 7 Alpha Stroke Alpha 003. Uh, negative. That'll be Alpha Papa 003. So Whiskey 7 Alpha Slant Alpha Papa 003. QSL. QSL, Roger, Roger. Thanks for the contact, 7-3. Yeehaw! Thanks for the contact. QRZ. <laughs> All right, that makes five. We just got him. He just got up there, too. Israel LAF comes the key. Hey, packed up, looking around. I don't see any gear be being left behind, so I think we're good to go. I tried to fly the, I tried to do a circle around this mountaintop with the drone, 
and uh, the winds are too high. We're at almost 10,000. I put the put the drone up at least 100 feet, so very close to 10,000. Winds are just too tough for it. It was uh, it was really fighting and just not going anywhere. So I brought it back down, but uh, it would have been a nice one. Maybe next time I'm up here, I'll see if I can get a circle of it. It's a pretty little summit. Um, we got some aerial shots, as you can see. Um, shoot, being on the summit is like having an aerial shot. And uh, you got a view of kind of back this direction. So, yeah, real pretty. I think that's Greer Lake over there. Uh, maybe, no, that's not. I'll put in the, I'll put right here what that is. Um, I think it's Sunrise Lake because we're right next to Sunrise Ski Area. So, yeah. Yeah, that's Sunrise Sunrise Lake. Oh. Yeah, it's a great view off here. And it's greening up. No rain today, but uh, a, little, a little breezy. So, let's get cracking. Just came across a group of three elk. Um, they're back behind those trees. Um, come up again here and we'll catch them. There they are. And off they go. Yeah. Three of them, I have a feeling they're males. No antlers, but I don't know if this time of year they have them. Oh, very nice. Um, I've seen a lot of elk back in here. A couple of years ago, I was with the dog, and so we just walked right up into an entire herd. They didn't see us coming. We just stood there for a while and looked at them. All right, we're on the uh, elk trail now. And uh, man, this is such a great, little single track. Um, doable for mountain bikes, if you have some skill. Haha, <laughs> which I don't. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just, this is just really the best up here, I think, for just lush pine forest hikes. <coughs> and you get to see, almost every trip you get to see a uh, some elk. So lots of feed in here too. Wow. Uh, it's greening up nicely. Huh, four more weeks. Hopefully the monsoons will be here. And then I'll be complaining I can't go out and do soda when I'm up here. But hey, uh, I'd rather have the rain. It's all good. All right, guys. Um, just a pro tip from the ham ninja. Um, going downhill is a lot easier, even at 10,000 feet. You heard it here first with the Ham Ninja. Alrighty. Well, small status update. When I got back to the car, um, the vehicle wouldn't open. And, uh, well, you can imagine I was pretty bummed about that because that means the keys were not on my person. They were in a zipped pocket. And uh, that pocket has a hole in it. So, um, so much for zippered pockets and keeping your keys safe. Uh, the nightmare situation I've been trying to avoid is uh, actually, uh, it's here. So, <laughs> um, yeah, gotta love it. So I am backtracking right now. Um, some nice people in the parking lot gave me some an apple I took a bunch of water uh, drinks of water and then I got another bottle with me I have a handheld radio that goes into the repeater system here um, and um, so I can communicate with Dale who's gonna come out and pick me up if I can't find my keys which is su <laughs> super nice I told him to wait See if I can find them here on the trail. Um, I'm a little worried 
because there's a couple places I was at that if they fell out there I'm screwed so I get to go to the summit twice today as I look for my keys but um, yeah there you have it so I'm about to run out of battery on the GoPro got plenty of battery and phone I got two communication modes water beautiful weather ah. I'm a lot lighter without a backpack, so that has been hidden back in the forest. But there you go. So, gotta love it. Adventures with the Ham Ninja. We're taking it to the next level, people! <laughs>